Monkswell Ward is the exempt award for the trust. And what we're doing on Monkswell Ward is that we're listening to anybody. It could be staff, it could be patients, it could be visitors. We're listening to their suggestions. We're learning as we're learning about their suggestions and then we're making simple improvements. And it's really, really brilliant. I honestly thought in the beginning when they when we were chosen, there was nothing wrong with Monkswell. And I was a bit worried that, you know, they were saying we were doing things wrong. It's not. It's all about making slight improvements, engaging all the staff, and it could be engaging with the doctors, the physios, the therap um, the occupational therapists, the ward staff, everybody. Everybody can make a suggestion, and as a team, we can improve things. So we've done a lot of tiny little things on Monkswell, but it has made a big difference to our patients. One of the areas that we really wanted to work on was trying to improve the amount of time that we, sp we spend with our patients who have cognitive impairment. And by doing simple little changes, we've done that. We've also wanted to work on trying to improve um, our discharge process for our patients so that they didn't stay unnecessarily longer in hospital. And we've done that. And that is by communicating with our discharge case managers and liaising with the community teams by improving the communication. Um, so, for example, we get information first thing in the morning, lunchtime and last thing at the end of the day about patients who could potentially be, be discharged. By improving the communication, 60% of our patients are now being discharged before 12 o'clock. And over the last few weeks, we found that about 75% of our patients are going before 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's by just improving the communication. Now, if we can do that on Monkswell Ward, that could potentially be done across the trust. And what would that difference would that make for the flow of the patients? What, how would that help ED? It, it, it is massive. So just by every area doing their little bit can improve things for, it, for the whole trust and for the patients as a whole. I love doing this. My staff have really enjoyed being part of this and we're still ongoing. And I can't see us stopping ever doing this because it's listening to people that can make the improvements. And if we listen to people, we can learn. And if we learn, then we can improve. What the biggest area I would say that we've worked on is our visiting times. And this was when um, the healthcare assistants were saying that some of our patients were complaining because in the mornings they felt uncomfortable having their washes and using a commode because there were visitors present. And at that time, our visiting times were from 7.30 in the morning to 10 o'clock at night. So what we did, um, we listened to what the staff said. We then questioned all of our patients. After questioning them, we realised, yes, they weren't happy and they wanted the visiting time to start later and to finish earlier as well. So we trialled a visiting time from 10 o'clock in the morning to seven o'clock at night. We tried that for about five weeks and then we then asked the question to the visitors and the rep patients again. There, the feedback was that they really liked the visiting times. The only downside was they would like to have stayed open for another half an hour. So we listened to them again and we've changed it. And now amongst Wells visiting time is from 10 o'clock in the morning to 7.30 at night. And everybody loves it. Looking at is, is every single suggestion and see if we can tweak things. So just improve things slightly. So what one of the, our healthcare assistants mentioned was that when we give out our lunches for our patients, we can't always get to our patients that need some assistance. So they suggested, why don't we give out the, all the meals for the patients who don't need assistance first and then give out all the trays for the patients who do need assistance. So we did that and then that meant that all of our patients, none of their meals got cold. They were able to be, the members of staff were able to sit with them straight away and help them have their food, which was brilliant. And it just seems really simple, but it has, it has made a huge difference. The other aspect that we were looked at as well is that when um, we've washed patients in the morning and we've got the dirty linen, we have to take one linen, dirty linen bag out each time and we've got about 20 linen bags. So instead of one person doing it and it takes about 20 minutes um, by the time we take out all the linens, linen bags, we've bought a trolley now 
where, where what that means is that one person can take that whole linen trolley out and it's all taken out at once. Instead of taking 20 minutes, it's taking two or three minutes.